Okay, this one is going to be about the sequencing of the uh, Bryant 355 MAV model furnace. Now, in the earlier video, I mentioned this is a uh, high efficiency furnace, it's two stage, and it has uh, ECM motors on it. But let's talk about what's going to happen when I get a call for heat. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give a call for first stage heat. So I'm going to put a jumper between R and W slash W1. That will bring on this, the inducer, and uh, start the sequence. Okay, when I put the jumper on, you're going to see slight delay and then the inducer will start. Okay, what that inducer did, or what the system did, the control board down below did, is check to see if the pressure switches were both open because it won't fire until the pressure switches are open. Now, it's revving up and it's going to make the pressure switch. Now, because this unit has been off, this thing has to learn where it's going to go. And I talked earlier a little bit about this. That it has to learn how long the vent is. And this first trial is to learn how long that vent is. And so it winds up faster than it would uh, in uh, other conditions. Now, it has turned on the burner. The sequence of ignition here was simply when the inducer started up it made the pressure switch and then started the hot surface igniter and trial for ignition gas valve opened on low fire and the burners lit and proved flame and now it's starting the countdown for the fan to turn on. Now the fan on this thing does not make a lot of noise doesn't come on very loud. I don't know if you can hear that, but the fan did just come on. I think it's 30 seconds that it waits. So, inducer came on, burner came on, proved flame, time delay, fan came on. So it has cycled in first stage. So let's look at what happens with the pressure switches when this thing cycles on. Okay, I have a manometer on here, and there's two sides on this manometer. You see the manometer right there. One is tapped into the uh, uh, tap from the back of the pressure switch that goes to the back of the inducer. Now I'm going to go ahead and zero out this uh, manometer. Okay. So it's going to be taking the vacuum that the inducer pulls. Now the other side of this, and I've done this just uh, on both sides of the manometer, goes over to here. And I put a T in there also. Okay, what that's doing is this is a reference for the combustion chamber. Okay, it is taking the pressure of the combustion chamber chamber, the negative pressure, and it's working on the opposite side of the pressure switch diaphragm as the pressure coming off the inducer. The reason it's done that way is here's your line here, and I'll demonstrate this in another video, but if this combustion line, combustion air line got plugged, then it would pull a high vacuum in here closer to the vacuum that you would read down here and the pressure switch should open so that it does not fire up if there's not enough of a combustion air supply. Okay, so that's working on one side of the diaphragm and this is on the other. Behind this thing, you, you, you can't see it back there, but it's just a T that goes to the back side of both of these 
pressure switches. And then you've got a jumper that goes from here to here that takes this pressure here and puts it on both sides of the uh, diaphragm. Okay, we're going to start this up and I want you to watch the way this thing operates. Now, I've just put on my first stage heat. Uh, my uh, inducer has started up and it's going to go up to what it found earlier. Remember, this thing has learned uh, what it's supposed to go to now. It's going to go up to high stage, high fire, and it's going to level off there and it will be in the high fire mode. Remember, we only have first stage. We have low fire engaged. Uh, as soon as this thing lights off and the burner proves, it's going to drop down to the uh, low fire rate. Now, why does that uh, inducer move back and forth? Is to give it just the right combustion air, the right amount of combustion air. Burner just lit, so you can see this dropping down. This thing is supposed to uh, close its uh, pressure switch at point, uh, 0.95 inches of water column and open it at point 0.85. I want you to watch this thing as it drops down. Now you can see it's down to one inch of water column, dropping down. Sped up a little bit. It's going to maintain it above that 0.85. Doesn't it doesn't want to maintain it a lot above 0.85, but it does want to maintain it above 0.85. Somewhere between 0.85 and 0.95 inches of water column. Now the burner, of course, is running now, and the circulating fan is on and everything. It's just simply maintaining. So that's how that ECM motor makes uh, makes it operate. Uh, and this is in low fire. We'll try this thing in high fire too, and uh, you can see how it operates then. We'll also do some manifold gas pressure tests and and the like and. Uh, see if we can uh, find out what's going on there. But that's a cycling of the uh, the Bryant uh, 355 MAV uh, on low stage heat.